Hey, what's up, Morning Read fam? So today I'm gonna to take you guys through a sequencing drill you guys can practice at home, on the driving range, and even on the tee box during your round of golf. So this is something I actually use when I feel like my timing's off on my golf swing. I'll do a few reps and I usually find it cleans up my sequencing that I need to have more consistent golf swing. So for us as golfers, we have a, a kinematic sequence of our golf swing, okay? So as we rotate into our backswing, we want to initiate that downswing with our lower body. Our upper body will then tag along, our arms, and then our club. What we see a lot of times, especially as we get tired, if we're just kind of not really thinking about our shot, is we start to either initiate with our arms and the club first, right? So maybe we start casting or we start coming over the top and our sequencing's off. So this is a great drill you guys can use to kind of clean some of that up. So what I want you guys to do is grab your club, cross it or put it across your body. Then you're going to have 100% of weight on that trail hip. So if you're a right-handed golfer on your right leg. From here, I'm just gonna kind of have this foot hovering. And all I'm gonna do is about 10 uh, upper body rotations, really loading this hip. So I'm gonna rotate, trying to get my chest square to the wall. Again, your hip can move with. Again, we don't wanna lose posture, so I don't wanna stand up, right? My head should stay still. So if you need to look at yourself in a mirror, or video yourself, I'm gonna do 10 reps there. Once I'm done that, again, all my weight's still here, I'm going to externally rotate this hip. One, two, three. Now this is gonna start creating a little bit of separation from that upper and lower body. But what I want you guys to think about is actually moving through the hip, not the ankle and the knee. A lot of times I can get that knee all the way or that foot all the way over, but see all my knee and everything and hip aren't in line. So I wanna initiate with my hip, try to get it perpendicular, right? Create that T with your feet. Again, I'll do 10 reps there. At that point, that glute should be on fire. Now we're gonna put it all together. Now you're going to step and rotate at the same time. Now we're really creating that separation, feeling that stretch. Again, if you need to have your butt up against the wall, you can. I'll do 10 reps there. And now we're going to fire through into our, our downswing. So now I'm going to rotate first, still 100% of weight on here. Externally rotate, fire through really getting those shoulders underneath. So rotate, step, drive, transferring that weight, getting 100% of weight pretty much on that front lead leg so I can lift that foot off. Again, let's do a couple more. As I get more comfortable with it, I'm gonna to start to add some speed. So step, fire. If you start to lose some balance, slow it down a little bit or try to figure out ways of being able to anchor into the ground. So give that a go, you guys. If you feel like your sequencing's off a little bit on the course, try a couple of reps and then hit your ball. Practice that at home, create a lot more awareness and where you need to kind of separate, load, and create more consistency in your golf swing. So to give that a go, and until then, guys, let's make some progress and get better every single day.